This is Aduka the Zombie Gamer, and I am here on a, uh, a different location than you might be used to. Um, the outcast says hi there. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of in a little hidey hole here I made. Uh, bringing down some grass right now, some torches on the wall. As you can see, uh, people here on my server talking about. Um, so basically what we're doing here is this is an invite-only server. Uh, we all kind of play together, coming from various different servers. And, uh, the goal here is just to kind of work together. Now I'm out in a little bit of a remote location right now, kind of looking for this little overhang here. I've got a couple ideas about possibly embedding a skull into the surface. And what I'm going to attempt to do here is make my way over to the main base here. Now, I haven't been over this way in, oh, I would say at least a day or two, so it could be a little bit of interesting of an adventure. Apparently, I forgot my bow back there at the base, so I'll have to go take a look for that here in a little while. So yeah, welcome to my server. Um, I guess we'll have to chop its head off real fast. So when I'm not working on uh, my single player games, I'm usually messing around on the server. And, uh, right now it's undeveloped. Still have a lot we want to get done with it. Uh, Outcast and them are over in the little village we're working on. But I'm heading over to what is the main spawn base. I believe last time that we were doing on working on the series, we were talking about uh, uh, the quality of games and the various games that had come out over time and some of the ones that uh, we enjoy. Outcast. Apparently, he's uh, made a couple friends here, so. Let's try not to die here. The last one rejected my life. For those of you wondering, we are uh, we are on hard mode on this server. So every time we kill one, it's like five more come in its place. It's definitely not a uh, enjoyable experience when you get lost out here. And we really hate to die out here too. episodes there. You know, I'm, I'm really happy with where the gaming industries went, and uh, I just feel that some of the production quality just is lacking. Uh, a good example is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Diablo 3. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I, I am a fond lover of Diablo and uh, Blizzard games in general, just uh, towards the end of Diablo 3 there, you get a real... Uh, 
I guess, rushed experience out of the game. And, uh, I kind of think that it was almost just thrown out there. They were in a hurry versus actually taking the time to produce a quality game. And, uh, I would have really hoped more out of Blizzard. But can't hold everything against them. Uh, I am looking forward to the Mist of Pandaria expansion coming out here. I still don't have an official release date to my knowledge. I'll have to look that up. But uh, a lot of the things that I've seen at BlizzCon shown for Mist of Pandaria really showed a lot of promise. So the main goal on this server is just to survive. We really don't run any plugins on this server, other than those to protect our users and uh, uh, just in case any grief does happen to roll it back. Um, as you can see though, from the output of everybody's text, you know, nobody really has any special rank. Um, and it was really something in important that I wanted to be able to reassure to the players that uh, there would never be any admins to abuse any type of powers, no spawned items, no creative play, nothing. And uh, I think when you start introducing those aspects to the game that <clears throat> you end up almost uh, bored with what you're building. If I can ever get over here to it, we have a little bit of a main village set up over here at spawn, just kind of get everybody a little orientated on the server when they do first join. And uh, what we're slowly doing is everybody's bridging off and uh, going their own directions and uh, kind of just trying to survive and bring everybody together. And, uh, yep, we found it. Now, oh, Outcast over here, what he's talking about is, uh, <laughs> he's working on a, uh, uh, village over, uh, our server is called Meerkat Manor. And uh, he's overworking on a village over yonder, past over where I came from. And uh, they're going to do a lot of interesting glass tunnels from what I understand. Uh, unfortunately, I was doing a lot of video editing um, when they were talking about it, so I'm not too sure of it. Uh, so what you're seeing now is this is, uh, this is spawn. And uh, anything within this uh, little carved out block you see here is nothing that we can really alter, but we do have some pretty neat things set up now. Uh, this here was designed by Outcast. Uh, he is one of uh, three redstoners, soon to be four redstoners on the server, uh, that spend a lot of time working with it. Um, from what I do know, I haven't paid much attention, this is just a little bit of a red switch farm he has here. Now it is automated, uh, and you do have a manual release over here. It's 
definitely a good resource for uh, the people here on the server. And uh, you do have a couple different houses here. You have Discover Dan's house here. It's his first little house he built. And a uh, little public uh, alchemy station set up here. Creeper proof. And the thing stop. Yes. His name is, uh, uh, it's definitely a pretty cool cat. And then you got, uh, a Lee over here, I believe, not too sure. He's still a little bit, uh, a little bit of a new guy. The, the, this here is nowhere near its, uh, original beauty. Originally, this was a zombie head built by a weakling, you see there. And I push this button, and it would pull these parts right here down, and uh, let down into this little cavern he was building. Uh, unfortunately, not too much happened with it. Um, I got messing around, I found a little bit of a slime chunk, and started outlining it, and uh, the next thing I knew, the pistons no longer worked. And, uh, what, you're, what you're seeing right here is our main. And, uh, we have various lockout switches to help protect us. As I said, this was on hard mode, so unfortunately we have to use iron doors. Uh, the problem with iron doors, as you know, they can only be opened by switch, and trying to rush in a door when a zombie, skeleton, and five creepers are uh, chasing you just does not work out. Uh, now, this was the original location of where we first joined the server, and uh, weakling and... Uh, Ipsy first came down here and started carving this out, and I want to say it was in the first 15 minutes of the server being live we actually had this portal right here, um, which is definitely a, a feat to their prowess there. And our signs here, let's see, take the A train, station now open, apparently over this direction. Uh, there's a blaze farm now ready in another, follow the signs, there is a mine at the end of the hallway on the left, and the bunk rooms ahead. And up out here, uh, I believe his name is Jay Sips. We spent some time out in the nether and to set up our first blaze farm we had there. And, uh, some colorful sheep here. A doorway here to the main station. A little bit of a wheat farm. Chickens. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed in the chicken pen because uh, I like to spend a little bit of time on mass murder. Here's our little bunk room. A little bit of frame drop there. You have the uh, master warehouse. Now, when I was talking to Weakling, he said there was one chest in here for every item. And I haven't spent much time walking through it, but knowing him and some of their previous builds, I believe it's um, everything in here is labeled. He definitely put a little bit of time in on this one. And then following down, you know, you do end up down here in the mine. Apparently uh, one of their sheep's leaves. The skeleton farm now. Uh, the skeleton farm, the uh, my ongoing romance with the creepers there. Uh, the skeleton spawner was originally found by Weakling, and uh, he was down here just getting destroyed with it on hard mode. And uh, excuse me, one moment. He was just getting destroyed down here since, uh... He was just reaching out for love. Well, Weakling was getting destroyed down here, though, with it on hard mode. And 
and uh, I came down and spent a little bit of time with them, managed to figure it out. Apparently, we uh, have a spider friend here. And uh, we came down, cleared it all out, and ended up building up a little bit of a spawner down here. Now, originally, the skeletons dropped out about mid scaling somewhere right about in this area. And, uh, you know, it, it ran great, but unfortunately, it wasn't quite doing what we wanted it to, and spent a little bit of a morning, uh, took him up, I believe it's 23 levels straight up, and then I bring him over all the way down over here, and uh, you have your basic on-off switch here, lights on, spawners on, lights off, spawners off, and just uses redstone lanterns above the main kill chamber back here to uh, light it up and further them spawning. I would say it takes oh, maybe about two minutes for this to get completely warmed up. And uh, once it's warmed up, you know, just jump up here, kill the skeletons you want, and uh, come back down here and wait by the wall. We do have a little bit of an alchemy station going on here. We also have uh, chests set up, um, furnace for some small tanks of ore, and uh, back this direction we have uh, old enchantment table. Looks like Roxy joined the server there. That is indeed the Roxy I referred to in my favorite episodes about going to, uh... Ooh, frame rate drop, gonna die! Oh, taken out. Look at that, I spawned right down here. That is indeed, however, the, uh, Roxy I talk about going to BlizzCon. That is my fiancé that, uh, plays with me. So it's, it's really nice to have, uh, that that special person in your life be as into games as you are and uh, definitely enjoy gaming with her. So come down here collect my stuff. We'll take a look at uh, Oz's first cottage over here and uh, take a look at Union Station. Uh, head out to the jungle where Roxy built our first uh, jungle outpost and then I uh, believe we will call it an episode after that. So we got all our stuff back here. And, uh, the nice part is, is, since everybody's spread out, don't really have to worry about turning the spawner on and off anymore. Um, now, if somebody was still overworking in this general area, kept the uh, chunk loaded up, definitely have a worry. I believe the last time we checked it, it was roughly 10 minutes, and we had about 100 spawns sitting in there, so it can build up pretty quickly. Here is the tunnel to the Mephisto uh, Acropolis down here. We'll go take a look at it real quick. Yep. Alright, so talk to your outcast to make your home here. Warning, slime snow to spawn. Now me and uh, outcast, we had originally started working on a slime farm on the other server that I uh, had first met him on. And, uh, it, it was quite interesting to spend, uh, some time underground here and see the different builds, and, uh, Roxy was down there with us, and, you know, me and him had the more technical aspect of it, but unfortunately, uh, design was never one of our, uh, great highlights. Uh, this, however, looks quite amazing. Definitely like the grass going on down here and the various flowers. This ladder up, it leads you outside. I'm not too sure. So let's find out here. Oh, it looks like it does. So now we have the Meerkat Metro Station. Let's see. Blue service lines all stations to the east of spawn. Red line services stations to the north. Green line services stations to the west. And white line services stations to the south. Yeah, 
is the other station going on under the spawn button. As you can see, uh, Senzo is the chief engineer of uh, the Metro Corporation. And we have the vice chairman, Oz Rainmaker, and the assistant manager, Wing. are going off here in the background, so unfortunately I believe we're going to have to cut this episode a little short here. Uh, next episode we'll go over and we'll see uh, the cottage off in the distance there. And, uh, apparently he really wants us to uh, make his presence here known on the video. We'll go off to the cottage over here and we'll take a look, go off and see what uh, Roxy has built up, and then uh, perhaps we'll stop out and we'll see what will be Meerkat Manor. Until next time, you guys have a great uh, day, and thank you for watching.